So okay, now we came to another variation and this is done by divide the note or the forward stroke into four single motions, yeah? Uh, kind of like a tear with four steps. The same for the backward. Sorry. So and then you combine this with the three clicker. Yeah, it differs from the normal three click variation. So now one of my favorite techniques and this is done by playing um, or play or I hope you know a technique which is named as the slug marsh. It was also shown by DJ Cubot on the Scratch Lopedia. So and it, it is done by playing the two clicker, but we play now the first motion like this, then we move the record back to the start point, play another tap, and then follows the backward motion to the start point. Yeah, it sounds uh, really funky. I'm gonna show it. It sounds uh, really rhythmical and now you can um, augment this by using the three clicker. So that means the first motion is the forward by closing, then removes the record back to the start point, then follows the tap, then another tap and from this point the backward like this. So closing, tap, tap and back to the initial point. Sorry. So over beat. Sounds a little bit so try it. Um, yeah, now we came to some variations um, which are derived by changing the record motion incomplete. That means for uh, the normal version is forward stroke and cutting by the three clicker. Now we play two baby scratches and combine this with the three click flare. Goes like this. I'm gonna demonstrate it at first. This is uh, quite cool or pretty cool I think because you obtain an uh, even number of crossfader sequences in combination with the even number of baby scratches. So. And this technique is done by moving the record forward at first, closing, then tap for the e-tone, then tap for the note, and tap for the last e-tone to the initial point. So, and I have prepared a little demo for you to show how it sounds like and goes like this. So once again. Yeah, already right. I have no time to master this technique. And th that's the reason why I must prepare it. So, okay, now the second variation is basically 
also played by two baby scratches, but we play the first baby scratch no, normal and then we go into the reverse baby scratch. So, and uh, to, to do not jump out of the sound by going th into the reverse baby scratch, we must go into the sound at first, yeah? Or inside the sound. So, that means our first movement is note E tone and then E tone note. Yeah? So then you combine this with the three click motion. Yeah? Sorry? So, and this technique differs from the previous one and it attains also another acoustic result. So, then um, a simple methodology is that you play uh, now two reverse baby scratches and you combine. <coughs> then you can use the method of rondering, that means by playing this or also playing the first method, the baby scratch <coughs> method, you, you can go um, through the sounds Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Did 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 Yeah, it's not so easy. Try it. So, and yeah, last but not least, you can also combine a reverse baby scratch with a normal baby scratch and in correspondence with the three clicker. Goes like this. We play E-tone, closing, tap, note, then note, and we are now at the initial point. Okay. This is it. We have used some baby scratches. Now we come to uh, uh, variations or very famous variations, basically. Um, for example, Kurtek, uh, very famous uh, scratcher from the Bay Area. It's a master of the three clicker and also these styles, in my opinion. And they use basically is this crossfader sequences by playing <coughs> the record in different variations and they uh, position this pattern on different rhythmical positions inside the bar. So the first variation is when you play um, two motions forward and backward but you play the first motion as in 116 <coughs> And then you move the record really slow back, okay? That means when you combine this with the crossfader sequence, our first motion is closing, then follows tap, tap, opening. Yeah? This little demo helps to define the acoustical result. Okay, and this technique is really sexy when you combine this or when you're alternating between the two clicker and uh, the three clicker. That means you start with the three clicker like this. And then you go into the two clicker. That means you produce at first four sounds by the three clicker. One, two, three, four. And then you produce three sounds. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, one two, three. One, two. Yeah? So, and due to the fact that you produce now seven sounds 
you create a irregular rhythm okay try it it's it's really cool so okay the next variation uh, when we combine the three click flare on a note with the e-tone with the same length and same duration we obtain another very famous technique and this is the crescent flare the three click crescent flare and goes like this that means we move the record forward a note then we close tap and then tap opening Yeah, the demo goes like this. Okay, three click crescent flare. So the next variation is also cool, or is cool as well, because we play now at first the note. And then we move the record really quick back to the initial point. And by playing the note, we uh, co uh, we combine the closing motion and the two taps. Yeah, and then. Once again, closing, tapping, tapping. Yeah, really cool, really nice method. I think I have also a demo here. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie, my friends. Now it's up to you. Try to master these different variations of the three click flare. I hope I can uh, I could give you some inspiration to uh, advance your playing style and yeah we see us next week I'm really happy about some replies or some com uh, some comments and yeah this is it bye bye Alex